Yeah, we wanted to show you sow thistle. Um, sow dash thistle. It is not a true thistle, not like um, some of the other spiny plants that we have in the sunflower family around here, but this is more common than the truth thistle. Sow thistle is actually pretty closely related to dandelions. So here's the uh, some features of sow thistle. We have the flower and then uh, it's actually in the sunflower family you'd call it a, a head with multiple flowers all in one structure and then you'll see the plant in fruit. So you can see why I say it's related to dandelions. It has that same look as something that you could blow on that would then disperse these seeds all over the place. These are the individual seeds that are on what's called the pappus. It's a little um, cottony type substance that will spread it in the wind. I'm afraid to let go right now as a matter of fact. Um, so they are actually in a group of the sunflower family that includes dandelions and chicories and lettuce and things like that. All of which who have the same similar kind of flowers and uh, similar kind of um, fruiting bodies. The leaf is pretty distinctive too. You can see why it gets its common name thistle. They're certainly not sharp like a thistle, but they are kind of prickly. So that's why you get the name south thistle. It's a very common weed out uh, on the islands and also on the mainland. You'll find it growing mostly in disturbed areas along roadsides, along trails, and that sort of thing. Another important uh, ID characteristic of things that are in this group of plants in the sunflower family with dandelions and lettuce and chicories is that they have milky sap. And you'll see that here on the uh, south thistle as well.